And pretty much the first question today, and because we have one mic, we're, we're going to kind of do this deal. If, if somebody um, if, if somebody raised their hand, we'll, we'll approach that as we go. Uh, as you know, that there was a Supreme Court decision on immigration uh, yesterday, and so I would like to get your take on the Supreme Court's decision concerning immigration. Well, the decision affirmed the lower court ruling, which held correctly that the president's uh, overreach, the president's executive order on uh, putting a pause on deportations was an overreach. And so uh, it, it was a good ruling from that perspective. The president needs to be reined in, not just in the area of immigration, but across the board. He's exercising extra constitutional power. But we see it especially in immigration. And, and you see here in Cheyenne what can happen in terms of some of the refugees and the immigrants that have come up from Colorado, even though we don't have a refugee resettlement program here in this state, formally with the State Department. We've got to secure our border. We cannot have amnesty. We cannot have sanctuary cities. Uh, we've got to do what it takes to keep the nation secure, because not only do we need to know who's coming in, we also know that our enemies are using the fact that our borders are porous and open to infiltrate. And it's crucially important that we put a stop to that. Thank you. Senator uh, Christensen, same question, please. No, on immigration, it was refreshing to see the Supreme Court weigh in and do the right thing on this one. And if you remember just the day before, they gave another positive ruling where they said the administration and this president have gone too far with fracking. So we're starting to see some common sense come out of the Supreme Court. We appreciate that. Having served in the legislature, I can tell you we've been fighting the federal government 25 different lawsuits. So to finally see two come the right way, that's uh, real progress. But the work isn't done, and it's going to take the kind of skill and the kind of fighting and the ability and tools to go back to Washington and continue to take on these battles like immigration, like the fracking, the way the EPA has been used against Wyoming and the Endangered Species Act. Just a little bit of the uh, experience that we have in the background working in the legislature, and I look forward to bringing those skills to work for Wyoming and Washington. Thank you, Senator. Mr. Ryan Green, uh, what is your take on the Supreme Court decision yesterday? And what you're going to hear today is going to hear nine.